Today's tip deals with adding attributes to a manufacturer's part. Any part we have in our library has different fields we can fill in. However, we are limited to the fields that are provided to us. We cannot make any changes to what we have shown here. However, that doesn't mean we cannot add extra fields to this. To do so, we need to come back out to our library tab and look at our ERP database connection. By default, this is turned off. Simply turn it on by putting a check mark in the authorized connection, and it asks which database would you like to connect to. The internal one is the one at the top, Default Database SolidWorks Electrical. That's the one we want to use. So just by simply turning that on, if I come back out and look at my parts now, I'll see that I have a new tab in here called ERP Data. This gives me 20 user data fields I can now put in my own attributes. However, these user data 1, user data 2, they aren't really very useful labels. So we can come in and customize those. So in the case of the one I just created, I want to come in and rename this user data 1 by coming back to our ERP connection, highlighting the one I want to change and saying customize. I'm going to change this user data 1 by simply calling it price. So now I come back out and look at a, any manufacturer's part. I should see a new field in here called price. And this should apply to any part you pick. 